Hundreds of voters on Baldwin County's eastern shore are expected to go to the polls today to vote on tax referendums in Fairhope and Spanish Fort. News 5's Chad Petrie is following this story. He's live in Fairhope with more on what the new tax money would be used for. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Bill. And this is something that we've been following for a long time. We're talking not just about voters here in Fairhope and Spanish Fort, but also some voters that are outside the municipal limits that are still within those schools feeder patterns. So they're both voting on essentially what is the same amount of tax, a three mil property tax increase earmarked for schools just in those cities. The only major difference between the two is the length. If passed, fair hopes would last for 30 years, while Spanish forts would only last a decade. Now, people who have children in the school anecdotally generally seem supportive of these plans. Opponents have been critical of holding an oddly timed off-year vote. And it's really not clear which side would benefit from a relatively low voter turnout. Now, you may remember about four years ago, voters all across Baldwin County rejected school property tax increases for schools in the failed Build Baldwin Now campaign. However, one precinct in Spanish Fort voted in favor of the tax increase, and Eastern Shore precincts generally showed the strongest support for the increase back in 2015. So polls will be open from 7 to 7 today. Probate court in Baldwin County says they expect to have results later tonight. So we've got a sample ballot on our website on the front page of WKRG.com, as well as a list of the polling locations that will be open for this special election. Reporting live in Fairhope, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.